welcome back to my channel and for this vlog we'll be talking about cabin crew height requirements so I will be sharing with you my observation and my experiences with the height process of um, international and local airlines that I have applied for but before that um, thank you for all of you who liked and shared my first ever vlog thank you for all of you who subscribed to my channel after that I've been receiving um, messages that they were inspired by my cabin crew journey thank you thank you so much for all of you who keeps on supporting me so let's start <laughs> so after my first vlog um, I've been receiving questions about cabin crew height requirements so mostly for local airlines here in the Philippines, they are really based on the standard height requirement which is 5'3 for the ladies and 5'7 for men. May nag-message sa akin na 5'1 or 5'2 lang daw siya. Wala na daw ba siyang chance maging flight attendant. Don't do so because when I tried applying for international airlines, for in, um, for Oman Air, ang standard height requirement is 5'2. So, mostly um, for Saudi, Emirates, and Qatar Airways, they don't have standard height requirement. However, they require arm reach of 212 centimeters. And trust me, um, I've seen ladies na habang nasa pila kami, naghihinta ng, naghihintay ng turn namin. May mga kasabay ako na kinakaban sila kasi baka hindi, baka hindi nila maabot yung 212 centimeters kasi alam nila sa sarili lo na 5 flat sila, 5 1 or 5 2 sila. But um, they were able to reach and pass 212 centimeters. And meron ding mga mas matatampad sa amin na hindi in naabot yung 212 centimeters. So um, don't lose hope na 5 1 or 5 2 ka, wala nang chance na maging flight attendant. Try lang ng try hanggang sa makuha ka kung para sa airline ka talaga. Malay mo, hindi ka pang local airlines, pang international airlines ka pala. Bakit nga ba most of the airlines have height requirement? Um, overhead bins were placed a bit high. So if you're quite short, you might not be able to reach the overhead bins. And um, as a courtesy to some passengers who might need some help putting their luggage inside the overhead bin. And most importantly, some of the emergency equipments were placed in the overhead bin. And it's very important for us, cabin crew, that in terms of in, in times of emergency, we will be able to reach um, the overhead bins to get um, the specific emergency equipments that we'll be needing. So sometimes, pag naisip ko na super sapto lang yung pagkakareach ko sa 212 centimeters, um, if nakapasa ako after that, meron pa rin um, arm reach test. Nag, just, nag search ako for um, exercises na makakapag-search pa ng arms. And I know there's some exercises that can make you grow taller. Um, do lang mawawala kung susubukan mo. Um, mali mo makatulong, di ba? Na ma ma mas tumangkad ka. Yung one inch na lang nakulang mo. Um, madagdagan ka pa pala. After your first vlog, hindi ko alam kung seryoso ba to, pero may mga nagpapashoutout daw. So, pashoutout ko na din. Alex, miss you. Tita Teya, Luxin Lau, shoutout sa inyo. And for all of you na nag-message sa akin after ng first vlog ko, thank you sa inyo. Like, subscribe, stay healthy and happy everyone, and always believe in your dreams. Bye! See you in the next vlog! Thank you. Iyak na ako kung ilang tip na to welcome pala. In the process. Overhead bins were placed. Hey, what's this?